It has been a tumultuous few months for the Hoyoke Soldiers Home. The facility has seen a major turnover in leadership. 22 News reported Tiffany Chan was there as the governor swore in a new chairman to the Board of Trustees. Governor Charlie Baker spent the morning greeting veterans at the Holyoke Soldiers Home. It was his first visit to the facility since he was elected 15 months ago. This is a wonderful place and has served the people and the veteran community in Western Mass extremely well for years and years. Governor Charlie Baker braved the elements on this President's Day to visit the Holyoke Soldiers Home for the first time as governor. He was joined by several state lawmakers as he swore in a new chairman of the Board of Trustees, Vietnam War veteran Michael Case. Governor Baker sat down with the Board of Trustees and Western Massachusetts lawmakers to discuss some pretty heated issues, such as what they see as inadequate funding. Baker believes the Holyoke Soldiers Home has been given enough state resources, citing a recent Veterans Administration survey. On staffing and quality of care and, and activity programming and sort of all the things you really want to make sure you do well on, this place did extremely well on it. While the Soldiers Home may be providing excellent care to veterans, Holyoke State Representative Aaron Vega is worried that the nurses and staff are being overworked. I think what we need to make sure is that our staff doesn't get burnt out. If that means bringing on a few extra people so we cut down our overtime, uh, that's why I think the move we should be going for. During the search for a new superintendent, at least one lawmaker vowed to fight for equal, if not more, state funding compared to Boston. At the end of the day, there's no difference between a veteran here in the western part of the state or in the eastern part of the state. The Board of Trustees will begin reviewing dozens of applicants for the superintendent position this week. Reporting live from the studio tonight, Tiffany Chan for 22 News.